The Promise presents how Egypt is becoming the world's largest fish producer. Egypt is known for its vast, lifeless deserts. In its inland deserts, temperatures vary a lot. During the summer, where they range from 7 degrees Celsius at night to 43 degrees Celsius during the day, keeping these harsh climactic conditions in mind, it is phenomenal that we rarely get to hear about famine hitting this area. Another interesting fact is that a country full of deserts is also setting a goal for becoming the largest producer of fish in the world. But how do they do that? Let's find out. Courtesy of a mega project that Egypt has planned, their fish production will exceed all past bounds. Enhanced food supply is also another aspect of this mega project that we will discuss later in the video. The fertile lands on the bank of the Nile only occupy around 5.5% of the total Egyptian territory. The yield is still enough to fulfill the food requirement of the country, however. The equation is not so simple. The yield is also a net result of increased fertilizer usage, which is a major cause for soil depletion. To cater to this issue, Egyptian authorities decided to diversify their food sources in the last century. The alternative they thought was the most feasible was enhancing their fish industry. Fish are a rich source of protein, and for fulfilling the protein requirement of the population, the fish industry was a worthy alternative. In the 1980s, annual fish production jumped to 17,000 tons to 45,000 tons. During the time between the 1970s and the 1980s, four large hatcheries, six fish farms, and five juvenile fish collection points were built. Thus, in around 10 odd years, Egypt successfully diversified its food production. When there is a new business, it is natural that more job opportunities will pop up. A new cycle of earnings began for the owners and employees and owners of private fish farms on land, leased from the state. The surplus production resulted in a price drop in domestic markets, which made it affordable for even the poorest around. This suggests that the Egyptian nation will not face protein deficiency anytime soon. You must have been wondering by now that Egypt has done an amazing job at enhancing the production. But astonishingly, even after such a boost, Egypt was unable to fulfill its domestic fish needs until recently. The Egyptian government has decided to build the Al Fayrouz Large Scale Fish Production Complex, which will be located 10 kilometers east of Port Said and 17.5 kilometers from the Mediterranean coast. Technically, Al Fayrouz is not within the confines of the African continent, but outside of it since it's plotted in the Mediterranean. President Abdel Fattah el Sisi inaugurated himself, inaugurated the Fayrouz fish farm. This farm will be the largest production of its kind in the Middle East. Not only will this enhance fish production, but also it will add huge value to the development of the Suez Canal and the Sinai Peninsula because it entails industrial and urban settlements there. The National Company for Fisheries and Agriculture, which is affiliated with the armed forces, right from the beginning, implemented this project in cooperation with the Suez Canal Authority. The project is being built on 26,000 fidance with 17.5 kilometers on the Mediterranean and 10 kilometers in depth east of Port Said. In terms of job creation, this project will create 10,000 direct and many indirect jobs and will welcome people from different fields to work together. In this world-class facility, world-class techniques for enhancing the yield of fish will be used. Thanks to this project, New technology like cage culture will be used for the first time in the country. Egypt's National Company for Fisheries and Aquaculture will manage the project, which has 5,908 fish ponds, covering more than 1,500 acres. Al Fayrouz also holds shipyards where the size of each dock is 120 by 80 meters and accommodates six fishing vessels of length up to 30 meters. This is to allow Egypt to export some of the farm's produce across the Middle East. Before this project, Egypt has already made a mark by making the largest fish farm in Africa. The new project is expected to boast the already 2 million tons of fish produced in that country by adding some 150,000 tons. The country is thought to consume some 2.4 million tons, and the goal is to make Egypt self-sufficient and large exporters of fish. This mega project will address another major issue. Back in time, when Egyptian fishermen used to go out for a bigger catch, they often violated the maritime borders. The inherent need to swim aroused due to the depletion of fish stocks in the coastal areas of the Mediterranean and Red Seas. Illegally and uncontrolled fishing often resulted in conflicts and aggression among the neighboring countries. The action of violating borders and fishing in another country's waters 
was taken seriously offensive, but this farm partly eradicated the need of going far for a good yield. This project is a perfect example of how mindful mankind can be in the search for better business opportunities, especially ones that are directly related to fulfilling the nutritious needs of people. Such projects not only create an economic boom, but also save millions of people from dying of hunger. This improvement is not only beneficial for Egypt, but also is an example for other countries to follow. Please let us know which aspect of this development, to you, was the most interesting in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. That's it for today. Till next time, peace.